What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, people. You see this little sign there. First of all, it's Father's Day. And first of all, I want to stop the war on dads because there's a lot, of, a lot of guys out there who are taking the task on stuff that, like, other men are doing. I'll talk about that later in the video, but today I'm talking about uh, these bitches that have baby by bums who celebrate Father's Day. And you'll see the correlation soon. Now, I want to give you a clear visual about the book that we're, 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 we're endorsing right here. And it's coming up right about now. It's the, it's the bitches having baby by bums. And these are the, usually the chicks that celebrate Father's Day. It's these chicks that, like, have multiple kids or, or the chicks that, like, don't want to have their father in their life and they don't tell you the story or why. It's always, the, if you ever notice, it's always the guy's fault. You know? Well, he's a deadbeat, he's this, he's that. In a lot of cases, I, I, like I said, I've been through the system. I know how the system goes. And, uh, every, I mean, it doesn't go like, I mean, I know, yes, there are. There's a lot of, there are, there are a lot of deadbeats. But at the same time, there's a lot of these chicks who aren't shit. A lot of them want to, they want to give you, like, like I said, a lot of guys don't go in there with the mentality of, I want to fight for custody, I mean, for, for joint custody of my son because, or daughter, because that's your son or daughter. You don't expect to go in there and fight for joint custody. You expect to behave like normal adults and say, hey, well, you can have him here, I can have him here, or when can I pick him up with this and that. But no, what it is is these, 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 these bitches go in. And, I'm, I'm on, and like I said, I'm only talking about these types of females. If you feel a certain type of way that you got to feel like I'm talking about you, chances are you're like this. You know, they come around here, oh, happy Father's Day, Mom, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, how stupid, number one, how stupid do you sound in the outside world? And, 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 and like, and here's, the pro and here's the real problem. They want to celebrate stuff like this. Meanwhile, their asses are going to be put to task because welfare is coming up. And it's coming, it's coming down hard on them. So I'd worry about I'd worry about putting food in my kid's stomach or having a roof over my head. Well, you don't have to worry about that because a lot of guys are gonna get their kids now, thank God. But to me, it's just a shame. Like now, you got these uh, Hallmark has a whole section. And I did a video about this about two years ago. Hallmark has a whole section dedicated. I mean, not this whole section. It has a whole card section dedicated to Happy Father's Day, Mom. It's in, if, you, if you notice, it's in the mahogany section. It's not in the regular section, it's in the mahogany section. And a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these busted bitches, they, they fall for this trick. So, And, and if you notice, and I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff that we're not allowed to talk about, but I don't give a shit because I'm getting pissed off and nobody checks these bitches. Number one, women have no accountability factor. Like if, if guys, we have somebody that will pull, as they say, pull your coattail or, you know, pull you to a side and say, hey, you ain't doing this at the fifth. But the problem with the women is, they, they've been so reliant on the government that you can't tell them nothing. And they don't have an inner system, they don't have an inner working system where they have a checks and bounces as far as, they don't have a totem pole mentality, they don't have a, you know, a chain of command. They think they can do whatever they want to do and oh, that's it, I don't care, I'm a woman, I can do whatever, I don't care what you say. You know, that's, this is what they say. There's no such thing as accountability. Number two. You're supposed to accept them as they are. And let me tell you something, young men. Don't go after these single mothers with all these married, with all these little kids running around. Your, your, your ideal woman, let me, let me put it out there, your ideal woman has no kids. That's the ideal you want to work on. Now, if you find a chick that has one kid, look at the dude and see what he was like. If he's a bum, if he don't take care of him, stay out of here. This just... just Keep it moving. This is just hit and miss. You know, go get keep it moving. Look at look at the kid's father. Look how she acts towards him. Cause like I said, whenever you guys split up, that's gonna be you. Managers don't last nowadays, and long and hell relationships don't last either. So that's gonna be you. You look at how she's treating him. Cause if you have a kid by her, that's how you're gonna get treated. And chances are, she's gonna take you to what? What, what do these chicks always say? Take them to the white man. You're gonna get taken to them. So unless you unless you strap up, but your ideal chick is single with no kids. Now, there are case by case basis where I go now. My, my ideal is a chick with no kids. But say she was married, and had a kid, and say the divorce was mutual, I can I can I can work with that. 
I have to. I got to. You want to see where the chick's mentality is? If she's on some ghetto shit, keep away from her. If she ain't about anything, keep away from her. And then it was me now since I'm 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 back. Like I took a couple years off from, my, from fitness. Since I'm back on my fitness thing, for me, she gotta be in the fitness. I'm accepting all these fat chicks like a lot of you guys do. And a lot of you guys call these chicks thick with your fucking line. These chicks, I don't accept chicks with weave. I don't accept chicks that wear tin in their ear. Aluminum around their, around their arm. If you don't have, look, all that all that bullshit, all that foolery, you can buy a pair of di- real diamond earrings and look, and look thorough that have a bunch of trash around your ass. Don't get me for standing the truth. Like I said, a lot of these chicks are celebrating Father's Day because they ain't shit. Like I said, I got into it with a couple of these chicks on Facebook because I, I make my opinion known. Fuck that. This is America. I'll say what I want to say. And a lot of these chicks, I'll say, you know, only deadbeat bitches. <laughs> I said, I, like one time I made a post on my Facebook, and the post is this. If you want to stop having deadbeat fathers, stop fucking deadbeats. Like, like, I was always taught it takes two in a relationship. But if you notice a lot of these chicks coming from single mothers, there's no kind of video on them. And let's face it, you want to know why? And, and, and let me tell you something why. We never, as men, held these bitches accountable when they took from them, when they took the money from Lyndon Johnson to kick us out of the house. Number two, during the, 90, during the 80s and 90s when they were smoked out, and yeah, we can't talk, we're not allowed to talk about that. How most of these chicks were smoked out and fucking everybody and their brother. How you think a lot of these kids they got the different last names? And even now, how these chicks are all up in the club fucking everybody, and all of a sudden they're dropping kids. Oh, you ain't gonna marry me? Oh, I'm taking you to the white man. Look, number one, the white dudes, the white people don't even care about y'all. They got other worries about. But I wanted to say, look, young men, this is video is more towards you guys. Quit accepting a lot of this shit. Quit thinking the, the woman is God. Because what type of God is always consistently roasting her, roasting his or her, you know, people? I can see, like, what, what God did. And, you know, if you don't obey me, this will happen to you. These bitches want you to do stupid shit. And, and like I said, they're going to take you to court. So if you, your ideal woman has no kids. If you, like me right now, if I meet a chick, she's good looking, she got kids, we just doing what we doing. I'm, I'm done. I, I don't want to, I want, I'm not dealing with that no more. I got, I, I had my kids, I, I had to do my fighting. I'm not, I'm done fighting. Now I'm living my life doing what I want to do. But as far as these bitches having babies by bums, don't let them, don't feel sorry for them. Because like I said, it takes two to tango. They're deadbeat, and bitch, your pussy's trashy. So... Happy Father's Day to the guys out there that are doing it, to the guys that are fighting for your kids, to the guys that are getting lied on, to the guys that, like, these bitches put in, put in jail for one month late child support. Oh, yeah, don't think I don't think it. Remember that. Which, which wasn't me, by the way. It was just a couple, of my, a couple of my friends actually did go through that. And then all of a sudden, these bitches want to talk to you. No, nah, fuck you. You went to the government. Just let me see my kid. That's how I feel, and that's how a lot of us feel. So watch what you do, because once they get a hold of you, a lot of these bitches. Look, number one, if she goes, to, if she goes to the government or child support, she's a no good bottom feeding bitch. Number one, because she can work it out with you. And if you don't go to her, you're no good too. But at the end of the day, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about these these lame ass bitches that celebrate Father's Day and get mad when you call them out on it. So find yourself a nice chick, you know, prefer really a southern chick. And go from there. That has no kids. And, and watch what she does. If she, if she, and especially once you get older, once you get in your twenties and thirties, you need to. If a chick just can, is just worried about wor- working until Friday and partying Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, stay single. Just, just fuck bitches and get money. If, if she wants to be out there all week and working, and when it comes to the weekend, she just wants to hang out in bars and all that. Fuck them and leave them. Just get money. Do your thing. So, I'm out of here. It's 90 something degrees. You may hear something in the back. That's the AC going. And uh, I keep saying I'm putting, gonna do some more videos. But like I said, right now we're a little busy at my job, sort of. So uh, this is the only time I can do a podcast right now. So, I'm doing it. All right, peace.